Are you a painting company looking to integrate more automation and no code tools into your business? Well, I want to dive into five tools that I think every painting business should look at integrating into their business processes in 2024. So stick around if that's inter of interest to, to you or whatever I'm trying to say, do that. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and that's what we'll be talking about. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris and I am the founder and owner of Boolean and Boolean. Boolean Automation. The Boolean Review System is a software that I built to specifically help serve painting companies in crushing the competition in online reviews. And the Boolean Automation business provides no-code tools through YouTube videos like this, also through consulting. I built out a course to streamline business operations for painting businesses. It's a crazy niche, but we've gone deep, deep, deep down the rabbit hole. So if you fall into that space, feel free to check out the links below to grab a time on my calendar if you want to run any ideas by me or you got a question, see if there's a way that we could help. But without further ado, let's get into this topic. Number one, Zapier. If you have not looked at Zapier before, this is just a no brainer. People that don't know what to possibly use Zapier for, I would highly encourage you to consider integrating or like pulling. There's another video that I have made. If you don't know what you could possibly use Zapier for in your business, I made a separate video outlining 10 random cases of Zapier. But once you kind of, the light goes on, for what Zapier is possible of in your business, then you start seeing all sorts of opportunity for for automation. The second one is make.com, formerly known as Integramat. So this one here, very similar to Zapier. There's some benefits in uh, the cost of how like make is far cheaper. And it also has, uh, it's much more scalable so you can duplicate and take templates and implement them much faster. So I like make because of its scalability and the lower cost, but Zapier has got make beat out on the number of apps that they integrate with. I think Zapier has over 5,000 apps that it integrates with, whereas make currently is at like 1,500. But all the main ones that you'd be looking to integrate with, you can see just glancing through this list, list. They've got all the big ones covered and a lot more. And not to mention, you can always go with like a custom web hook to or from Make as well. The next one is Airtable is the next one that I highly recommend. It is a just a masterful, think of it as like a combination between a spreadsheet and a database and gives you the foundation to build essentially a custom operating system for your business. It's kind of like a like an Asana or Trello or Monday, but much more open-ended. So you can do anything with it. And I've also made a video, if you want to check out the video on how you could use Airtable as a project management system. Uh, a lot of painting companies use Smartsheets. I would highly recommend not using Smartsheets, not because I, I don't have any affiliation with either of these products. I just know that Airtable is a much more modern, new structure, and they allow for relational databases, which is huge. The other one that I highly recommend is HubSpot. A lot of people think that HubSpot, or I've heard, I should say, a lot of people have told me they think HubSpot's very expensive. I actually think that couldn't be farther from the truth because they have six different hubs that you can purchase. And each one of those hubs has a starter, a professional and an enterprise level of the hub. So don't be deterred by looking at this $1,200 a month option. You can get into HubSpot for 18 bucks a month or the 450 to 500 dollar range a month, and that's just for their sales tools. They also have customer set, customer service, CMS, operations, commerce. Painting companies are probably not going to be using commerce or customer service, but there are use cases for it. But the bottom line is that as far as the a CRM tool that plays well and plays nice with other automation tools and no code automation tools, that's why I like HubSpot so much. It integrates with Make, integrates with Zapier. It has a very robust open API. So basically anything you can dream of doing, you likely can feed data in or out of HubSpot very, very seamlessly. So that's why I like HubSpot as a CRM and marketing automation tool. Next one that I would recommend is this You Can Book Me tool. There's a lot of tools out there like Calendly, You Can Book Me, uh, HubSpot has their own uh, meeting link. The reason I like You Can Book Me is because they have the most, I actually did an interview with one of their product managers on my podcast. I'll link to that if you're curious how Ben Dugavich is his name, how he thinks. He's done an amazing job in leading the team on the features and whatnot that they've implemented. But I really like it because they have built-in webhooks in their reminders and follow-ups. So just, again, anytime you have a product that has webhooks or an API, 
you're just going to be able to do more with it than a software that is more closed off. And another one that I just cannot go on without without saying is this just chat GPT chat GPT is like I use chat GPT probably five times a day. And I would say you literally can use this for so many different things. Like if you're creating a training plan for your painters, if you are looking for a call script for your front office on how they should answer the phone. If you're looking to make a marketing plan or need new ideas of how you can drum up leads when it gets slow in the winter, like it is so amazing that like, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something crazy. If I were to say, I own a painting business and our leads slow down in the winter and we cannot paint houses in the winter but we can do interior work. What do you recommend to keep our crews busy? Let's see what happens. So you literally can put something like this and it's going to throw out a bunch of ideas. You can take it or leave it, but just like the fact that you can have conversations like this, just open-ended conversations, promote interior painting, diversify your services. Maybe you in you include something like wallpaper or drywall repair, cabinetry painting or staining. You could do holiday themes, maintenance and upgrades, use time to winteri winterize your equipment or be prepared for it, do training with your team, look for commercial contracts, networking, community projects, so many things. And this is just like spitting out ideas. They might not all be good ideas, but they have it. And then you could even say something like, just in reply, tell me more of a step-by-step -step strategy to implement number one with our existing customers. And here we go. Certainly, here's a more step-by-step -step segment your list. So anyways, you get the idea, but this is like open it. I've had ChatGPT develop itineraries for us. You can use it to find quotes that tie in with messages you're trying to deliver to your team. I and mean, it's literally just going to walk you through and you can ask it back and forth. If you're not using ChatGPT, it is absolutely insane. Those are my recommendations for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you are a painting company or a company that operates very similar to a painting company, please reach out. We have so many resources. This is what we exist to do is to free you up to do what you love. So if you're a painting owner or an, a manager in a painting business and you're looking to automate your processes, reach out to us, grab some time on my calendar. And if you like this type of content, like the video, subscribe, would heavily appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.